hey y'all welcome to my channel so today i am coming to y'all with another video and this is going to be my nail desk tour now i'm not gonna do a full room tour only because i haven't decorated like how i want my room to be and all of that good stuff so that's gonna come later but for right now i just wanted to show y'all my desk pretty much my setup and how i keep everything organized so yeah before we get into this video go ahead and click the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so that you'll be notified whenever your girl posts a new video okay period so let's just go ahead and get started so here is pretty much my um desk view from the door whenever my clients walk in so i'm just walk over here so over here in the corner i just have my trash can and then up here i have my nail polish rack which is from amazon it was like 45 dollars I actually just got that in the mail like a day or two. Well, yeah, not a day or two ago. Came in the mail yesterday. I have all of my iGel Beauty um, duos at the top. I tried to color coordinate them. Didn't really work. I, it's doing something. Okay, it's doing something. But yeah, I just have the regular polishes where you can actually see the color at the top. And then right below them, I have the matching gel colors. So moving on to my desk. Here is my desk. I purchased this from Office Depot. It took me forever to find a desk that was within reason and pricing because I knew I didn't want to spend over $200, but then I kind of decided that I was just going to have to. I was like, you know what, whatever. If I want a good desk, <laughs> I'm going to have to spend some money on it. But ended up finding this desk at home, not Home Depot, Office Depot for like $150. And it's very, very, very spacious. It has enough room on it for me to put all of my you know like everyday tools and um supplies that i need and it gives me enough like room between me and the client so we can both sit comfortably only thing i do not like is this little piece right here like this little wooden piece which i'm gonna tell my girlfriend to take off because it's not needed and it's kind of uncomfortable or um it makes it awkward for my clients to sit but other than that i love this desk it was originally white but I put contact paper on it that was also from Amazon. So yeah, that's where this marbling situation came from. Okay, so right here, I just have my chair that my clients sit in. This came from eBay. It was like $65. I think it took like a week to come in. Actually came in the mail today. My girlfriend put it together and it's actually really, really comfortable. And um, I didn't want to get one with armrests on the side just because I wanted to be like versatile for all of my clients and so that nobody would be uncomfortable when sitting and it has like really good cushioning on it and stuff too. So yeah, and I think this chair comes in white too, <clears throat> but I just didn't want to get a white chair because I didn't want it to get dirty and all of that stuff. So right here um, at the feet of my desk, I have these little, what are they, baskets. This basket right here um, keeps all of my extra liquids. And those two boxes right there, that's monomer. I have some barbicide. I have some cuticle remover. <laughs> cuticle remover right there. And then a huge bottle of alcohol. And then on the other side in that basket, I just keep my trash bags. So I'm going to come to the side so y'all can see my view. Here is my chair right here, which I purchased from Amazon. I think it was like $70. I'm going to try to link all of the important stuff that I have in this video in the description box. So check that out. And this is a really comfy chair too. And it's pretty spacious. It's way better than the little stool that I was using at first. And then I just have my um, apron that I wear when I'm doing nails laying across it, which was also from Amazon. But I got this out the kids section because I didn't want one that was going to go like past my knees. I'm super short. I'm only 4'11". So right here, I have my little tripod situation, which this is how I go live whenever I want to do tutorials, live tutorials on Facebook or anything like that. I use this and also to record my YouTube videos. It was like between 25 and 30 bucks, pretty reasonable in pricing. And people are always asking me when I go live, what am I using? And this is it. Like it's really bendy. Um, it stretches out pretty long too, and you can clip your phone like horizontal or vertical. So I love this. The only thing I don't like though, is that it's kind of shaky, but other than that, love this. Okay. So right here is pretty much everything that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Please excuse my nails. They look 
terrible. But um, this is another one of those baskets that went with the other two that I showed y'all. Got them from TJ Maxx for like $10. At first, I used to keep all of this stuff just sitting on my desk. But I was like, this looks way too cluttered. I need something to make me a little bit more organized. So I got these baskets. In here, I just keep a mask because I always wear masks when um, I do nails. Not only because of Corona, but also because you're in taking so many fumes throughout the day when you take multiple clients and also like particles and stuff. It's good to cover up your nose. Um, I have all of my implements like cuticle nippers, cuticle pushers, nail clippers, all of that good stuff. I have little brushes to clean my implements with. Also, um, to clean my client's nails with if I decide to do that. I have like a old makeup brush that I use to dust off nails. In this little container, I have some cuticle softener. I have some buffers. This mini Lysol. This is a four ounce jar of my Mia Secret Cover Pink. I have some acetone, some monomer, some nail files. Here's some more acetone. I have um, my Young Nails Protein Bond. In this jar right here, I just have some clear acrylic. Um, here's an, an extra brush, which this isn't one of my like everyday brushes, but just a brush that I ordered. Um, some dehydrator, my Mia Secret primer. This is my Zule Bling Adhesive. I can't show y'all though, because the top isn't all the way on and I don't want to make it waste out. And then here is my top coat that I use, which is the Beatles Top It Off. You can get that from Amazon. And yeah, that's pretty much it for everything that's in this basket. Then right here, I just have some alcohol in a spray bottle so I can spray my client's hands. I have some Dermix or sanitizer. Um, and then some hand lotion. I almost forgot to show y'all. So right here, I just have my everyday brush, which I blinged out completely um, using some of my rhinestones. This is a size 14 brush that I got off of eBay. It was almost $40, y'all, but it's a pretty good brush. So, yeah, this is the brush that I use every day. And then I have my little dappin dish thing, which holds my monomer, my acetone, and my clear acrylic. And then I have my Panda number 14 brush, which is what I was using before I got this brush. Um, I have my... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I have my sterilizing jar, which is my jar that I put my implements in with some barbicide and water mixed together. I have my KDS nail glue, which is the only nail glue I use. And then here's an extra one that I just keep right here. And right in front of me is my um, armrest for my clients. I got that off of Amazon too. It was like $10. I've had it for a while though, so y'all can see that it's kind of wearing off, but it's still good. Let me tell y'all something with this contact paper. Whenever you put any type of liquid on it, or if you waste any type of liquid, it does start to like ruin it a little bit. Um, that's with monomer, acetone, anything. But I would much rather it ruin the contact paper than my desk. So yeah, and then I have like a huge roll. So if this gets too like worn out, I can just switch it out. I have my desk lamp, which is from Amazon too. Um, just looks like this. It doesn't get super duper bright, but it does have like three different settings on it. I think this was like $25. Then I have a ring light right here to give me just a little bit more lighting. This is a smaller one though. I think it's like 10 inches or something like that. This was like $40 off of Amazon. Then I have my napkins. These are the um, absorbent, nap absorbent napkins. Love these. You can get them from Walmart out of the auto section where I personally think they're the cheapest there. You can get them from Home Depot, any like hard, not hardware, but like auto store, anything like that. You can also get them off of Amazon, but I feel like they'll be the most expensive there. But yeah, these are the best napkins ever. These are the only napkins that I use when I do nails because they absorb so much. So then back there, I just have my LED lamp. Um, by Melody Susie, which I purchased off of Amazon. I have my Melody Susie Scarlet Drill, which I love. Um, I have some drill bits, though, that are not Melody Susie. Majority of the bits that I use are Panda bits. Love, love, love those, and they're affordable. You can get them off of Amazon or eBay. And then I have this little container that I keep, like, all my other bits in. 
when you come over here this is pretty much my setup of all of my supplies all of my tools and everything else this is a 10 drawer organizer that i got from michael's it was like thirty dollars i think they always have them on sale if you see them on amazon i swear they're like <laughs> between 50 and 70 dollars so if you were looking for one of these drawer systems please go to michael's they always have them on sale for thirty dollars so at the top i just have my dust collector which a lot of the times i honestly forget that i even have this because i don't really i don't know maybe i just don't look over here on the top but <laughs> Majority of the time, I don't use it, but when I do when I do remember, I try to use it. And right there, I just have this huge container, which I keep all of my rhinestones in. I have like the larger, like shaped rhinestones, and then I have like a bunch of sizes of the regular AB rhinestones. Then back here, I just have some cotton squares and a huge jar of the Young Nails Core Clear. Normally, I use their Speed Clear, but the website that I ordered this from didn't have it in stock, so I just settled for this. And then right here, I just have um, my little diamond prop. I just keep it in the box. So in the first drawer, I have it labeled mis miscellaneous, and that's because I don't have anything in specific in this drawer. I have like my swatch little sticks, which I'm going to get some little hooks, um, like the hooks that you can stick on the walls and stuff. I'm going to get some of those to put these on. This right here is like all acrylics. This one is all acrylics. Majority of these were, not majority, all of these are my IJ acrylics. Um, I have some extra masks. I have some foil gel, brushes, some exacto knives, my cuticle, um, not cuticle, but my nail tip clippers, some swatches that I need to label. Just a whole bunch of nothing really in here. Um, some little label stickers. Some more little um binder rings so on and so forth in there oh and then here are some extra exacto knife um blades that came with them in this uh, next drawer it's labeled nail tips in here i just have all my nail tips these right here are the extendo tips i ordered these off of aliexpress it took them like a month to get to me but these are pretty hard to work with. I feel like you have to actually know what you're doing because it's so hard to shape them. And they're super duper thick, but I love, love, love using these for extendo sets. Then I have my BT Art Box False Nail Tips, which is my favorite brand. Majority of my clients come to get like coffin sets. Every so often I get like square sets, but for the most part I get coffin sets. So I ordered the BT Art Box pre-shaped coffin tips. And then for my square sets, I use the EC Basket square tips. Um, you can get the perfect tapered square or even regular square look with these. You got those off of Amazon. And this drawer right here is all of my all of my glitter bells, acrylics. Love, love, love this brand, y'all. I honestly feel like this is my new favorite acrylic brand. Um, they're super creamy, super buttery. They don't for the most part marble i think i have like two of them that do but they're like super bright colors even though they marble though they're still really really good quality and they don't do anything too crazy you can still manage with them but yeah i love my glitter bells i have like 20 colors by them and yeah this is my favorite favorite acrylic brand so far that i've tried and i've tried a bunch of different um brands so that's what's in the first drawer well, in that drawer then this one right here is another drawer of acrylics um i have my young nails in here i have these two ij beauty acrylics which i need to throw away because they're trash i just don't want to throw them away i really don't have a use for them though and then i have some mia secret and some glamming glitz these are pretty much my whites my nudes and stuff for the most part and then in this drawer is all my ij beauty well, not all of them, but this drawer is just all IJ Beauty. Love these acrylics. They're really, really affordable, too. You can get them on sale right now, I think, still for 60% off. So, I will try to link their website down below for y'all if y'all have not tried them. I've watched so many swatch videos on these acrylics before I purchased them. And I fell in love. Like, I know people have, like, love-hate relationships with them. And also, I've seen a bunch of mixed reviews. But I finally decided to order them myself. And I like them, so... This next drawer, I have some more eye gel beauty. I have some glam and glitz, which I don't really care for glam and glitz anymore now that I've, you know, kind of gotten 
a feel for other acrylics. I don't really like glam and glitz. I honestly just bought them when I first, first started doing nails because they were like really one of the most affordable ones, but they're super runny and I don't like that. Like they kind of flood the cuticle and I don't like that. So yeah, I have some Valentino. Um, I don't really care for that brand. I feel like it's overpriced. This color I do really like by them though. It's called Princess Cedar, but I feel like they be like finessing getting over on people because they give you little very little products for like a crazy price i think i have like three by them but i don't really want to purchase anymore well i do want to purchase some of their cover colors but other than that i don't want anymore and then i have this brand called dch which is like a two-in-one system um i gel beauty is two-in-one as well which means you can use them as acrylic or you can use them as dip powder i have some more glam and glitz now i do like their glitters the glam and glitz glitters but not their like regular acrylics so yeah and then i have some of these little mia secret little nail art powders or whatever this next drawer says nail art tools i have some brushes that i purchased um for my nail kits for my classes um i have some buffers i have some more glue have some nail clips this is a smile line um design that i did which this was my first attempt at ever doing it and i think i did pretty good so yeah i have some more of those me a secret little you know those little jars and some little sponges like the makeup sponges and some nail art brushes this next drawer um is all of my nail art stuff these are some rhinestones that i just put in here because i was traveling with some of my nail stuff and i didn't want to take my huge container i have some water decal like butterflies um these are some decals or nail stickers that i ordered off of etsy um have some foil some more foil some sequins some of those um butterflies that you like encapsulate into the nail these are some rhinestones that came in like a huge set of nail stuff that I ordered off of Amazon. I have some foil. Um, here is some unicorn chrome that I got off of Amazon. Some nail art brushes, which I don't really do like hand drawn art, but I just bought those. Um, here are some striping tape. I have a wax pen to pick up my rhinestones with. And then here's another one. And then I have my caviar beads back there, dotting tools, um, some 3D art brushes, which are also from Amazon. And then I have the um, sun-dried flowers. I have some more foil. And then I have some fine loose glitters back there to do like the sugar in on nails. So, yeah. This next one is a little tools. I just have like my stuff to do pedicures with. Don't mind this pumice stone being dirty. It's mine. I only use it for myself. So then I have like a um, foot scraper thingy, some more pumice stones, which I don't do pedicures just yet, but I'm about to start offering pedicure services. So I just wanted to like practice a little bit on my family and stuff. Then I have some nail files. I like to use 8080 grit files because they're super coarse and I feel like they give me the best shaping. Some more nail glue. Here's an empty bottle, which I think is a callus removal, but yeah, and then some more files. I think these were like 100, 180, or 80, 100. One of those. Yeah, these are 80, 100 files that I'll probably never use. These drawers always get me all the time. Okay. And then this last one is just labeled liquids. Normally, I have these, um, like I have acetone in here stocked up. I'll have at least two to three bottles, but I think I have one more bottle in here, so I have to go to Walmart and get some more. Then I have some empty bottles, as y'all can tell. I have some of these nail tips I just threw in here because it's a hassle trying to put these back in the freaking little baggies that they come in. And then I have some more little empty containers that I can put glitter and stuff in so yeah oh and then this is just an aloe vera gel which is what I use right now 
when I do my own pedicures. I use this on my feet and it actually works really, really good. So, yeah, this is pretty much the overview of my desk. Sorry if that light is like glaring, but yeah. So I'm gonna walk back this way so y'all can see from this angle. And yeah, that is my nail area tour. If y'all have any questions, don't hesitate to comment down below or send me a message. Don't forget to thumbs this video up and subscribe to my channel. And also don't forget to turn on your post notifications so that you'll be notified whenever your girl posts a new video. And I will talk to y'all later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye y'all.